Efficient, productive cows. What does that mean to a producer? And how do you build those traits into a herd? Fertile, healthy, structurally sound females, producing calves with the genetics to perform is a must, but feed efficiency can't be overlooked. Up to 70% of the costs of production in a beef operation are feed related. More than half of the feed costs in a cow-calf operation are for maintenance of the cow herd. Cows that maintain their body condition on the least amount of feed resources possible, yet still wean a calf, will be more profitable cows. Feed efficient cattle are valuable to a cow-calf operation. Because feed efficiency is a moderately heritable trait, you can make progress by selecting for genetically superior cattle with a trait called residual feed intake, or RFI. And like a golf score, negative or lower numbers are better. RFI is defined as feed intake adjusted for body size and production, meaning feed intake, average daily gain, body weight and back fat are fitted into an equation to provide a score for animals on test at the same time and of similar age and type. In growing cattle, it's the difference between an animal's actual feed intake and its expected feed requirement for maintenance of body weight, growth and changes in fatness. And you don't have to give up performance like average daily gain to get feed efficiency. There are efficient cattle that gain well, but you have to use RFI in a multi-trait selection tool to find those superior animals. Feed efficiency is not about size. There are large efficient cows, just as there are small inefficient cows. Depending on your marketing goals and resources, you'll be able to find those efficient cows in all sizes and in all breeds. Both these Angus Hereford Cross cows are 1,700 pound mature females who have raised and weaned a calf every year. The cow on the right, with the red calf, has an RFI score of negative 1.2 pounds as fed per day, whereas the cow on the left has an RFI score of positive 1.3 pounds as fed per day, meaning the cow on the left eats 2.5 pounds more feed per day to perform the same as the other cow. That equates to an increase in her feed bill of over $50 per year because of her increased feed consumption of nearly 1,000 extra pounds. Both these cows are small framed mature females, also raising and weaning calves each year. The same results can be found. Small efficient cows and small inefficient cows because RFI is not related to cow size. The easiest ways to improve your genetics for feed efficiency in your herd and ultimately improve your profit margin are to search out breeding bulls that have been RFI tested or have an EPD for RFI. Call the bottom 10 to 15% of your females that not only don't wean a calf, but do not keep adequate back fat and body condition on during typical cold winter feeding conditions. This can only be determined if you don't overfeed your cattle. Having access to excess feed will mask a cow's true ability to keep condition on. Test your own cattle for RFI especially potential replacement heifers with influential pedigrees that make up your herd. Track parentage and know which sires and dams produce those superior calves. Feed efficient cattle have a reduced carbon footprint, produce less manure and methane, and have lower feed costs. RFI is just one more trait you can use in a multi-trait selection system to help improve our beef industry's competitiveness and sustainability. And it speaks well to our social license and profitability.